All right, hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you my home server setup. Now I have uh, put out other videos about my server before. Now uh, this is an updated video, like in a plastic cabinet. Now I moved everything to a proper uh, rack. This is something that I've always wanted to do. And, you know, now, now I, I'm able to do this now that I have my own spot. All right, so let me go ahead and show you what I got here. So starting from the top, this is my switch. This is a Microtech or Micro Microtech 24 port gigabit switch. Uh, it is a smart, so it can, it's managed. You, you can uh, manage every port here. The reason I bought this switch is because it has two SFP plus ports. Now, one of these ports is connected to my server and the other one is connected directly to my main computer um, just so I can have you know 10 gig speeds from my computer to the server now I do have hard drives on my server so the speed is only going to be as fast as the hard drives can transfer but either way I got it just so I can you know if I in the future I want to put some SSDs and get the most potential out of these ports I could and I do have them connected via fiber with the SFP plus ports there you go and then at the top it is a wrap pink I think that's how you pronounce it I'm not sure it is a RJ45 what are these called I forgot what they're called but basically you connect your Ethernet cables at the back so at the back you can connect them and then you connect it directly to that to your switch just so you can make it look nicer um damn, i gotta figure I, I, I don't know what it was called i forgot but it's really nice it was 24 bucks it was cheap and it, it just makes your setup look more nicer in my opinion you know but uh and down here i just have some uh switches backup switches that i have you know, I got some of these really cheap at a thrift store, so I just hit bottom and I have them here. They all work. I got a Dell one right here. Two Netgear ones here. Well, actually, one's a TP Link. My bad. And then I got extra fiber cable, you know, just some extra cables here. All right, at the bottom, I have my. Oh, wait. At the bottom of that, we have a Cyber Power CPS 1215RM power extension one u box basically you connect it to your main power anywhere you want and then back you get like a bunch of plugins you can plug in all the things you want i have this cable i have one of the i have the main power cord from this to my ups this is a 300 watt ups you just have it connected to that on the top my current system draw at full load is like 200 watts and it's like 120 idle a 200 watt load so you know it helps a little bit anyways let's get down to the server this is my little server computer right here now the box the case the chassis i bought it from ebay it was like 100 bucks you know the cheap for you uh, case server case I bought it it's pretty nice it comes with a key I, I just put these in there to look nice they don't even done not to use um, got a key always on there um, so the specs for my server are the CPU is uh, Xeon e5 1650 it was I think I paid like eight dollars for that chip or something like that. Eight nine dollars. It was a. Uh, it has a, f a fast clock speed. Got doesn't have a lot of cores, but I think I heard that the clock speed um, is good for file transfers. Could be wrong. I just read that somewhere. For the RAM, I have 64 gigs of DDR3 ECC memory. So I've also read that if you're running a server, transferring files back and forth, you want ECC memory error correction error I, f I don't know what it's pronounced it's something error correction memory i could be wrong i'm sorry uh it's ddr3 so this is an older older setup 
you know, far too cheap, so I bought it. Uh, I think the RAM cost me like 40 bucks for 64 gigs. That's a, that's a pretty good amount for ECC as well. Now the motherboard is an ASUS P9X79 uh, server motherboard that I also bought from eBay used and it's been working so far. I've been running this for like five months, 24 hours a day and uh, seems to be still running perfectly fine for me. The GPU I have in here, I do have a Plex server so I went with a NVIDIA Quadro P400. Um, mainly, I mainly went for that one because it was low powered and it could handle like something like four transcodings at a time on Plex. I think I read that somewhere. Could be wrong, but it, it was a while ago when I bought it. All right, so that's it. That's my server. Oh yeah, and the hard drives. I have like five hard drives in here. I have like two set up in RAID 1, a uh, RAID, yeah, RAID 1, and three in RAID 5, and then just one for like fast, an SSD in there just to like transfer real quick, files real quick, you know. But yeah, that's just, that's it right here. A little server setup. Oh yeah, the, the little white box here is my uh, smart light tub, which just controls the lights. The cables do not look nice at all back there, but you know, um, happens. Uh, on the side here, I have the monitor that I plug in when I need to go into the BIOS or configure something on the server. And now for my main router, for all my network in the whole house, I have routed up here my ASUS. What is that? The Rapture GTAX 6000. I bought this, I believe it was like around August. It was on sale for like $140. Not 100, sorry. 240 bucks. Um, it was like 280 with tax and shipping and all that stuff from Amazon. Um, I went ahead and bought it because it does have two 2.5 gig ports. I have AT&T fiber, and eventually if I want to upgrade to two gigs, you know, two gig down and two gig up, then I'll, you know, use that port. Um, but this is, this is what's powering my entire home right now. So one of the cables comes from the modem directly from the house, comes in here, and then that connects to my switches, to the switch over here, that connects everything to the network. And then, you know, the power and all that stuff. One of the Ethernet cables goes all the way to the house, the main house. We're in the garage. Every little port that's blinking is something from the main house. I do have an extra router in the main house to provide Wi Fi over there because this one does not reach all the way over there. But yeah, that's pretty much my, my network setup here.